So, what if I told you that it's not entirely your fault, or the general public's fault, um, for the large amount of air pollution that we have outside right now? Um, the Guardian echoed a study that the top 100 companies, uh, this is companies like uh, BP, um, can account for 71% of all um, carbon pollution in the atmosphere. This is disproportional to the general public, uh, obviously. Um, now I've researched um, about this topic before, and that's why I wanted to learn more about it, since when I researched it before, I didn't go into as much depth. And I've, I've also been to cities like Chicago, Cleveland, and even Indianapolis, uh, where the pollution is just worse than what we have in uh, Fishers. In fact, uh, the Indiana Public Media found that Indianapolis ranks among um, the top uh, 25 worst areas for short-term um, particles in the atmosphere. Uh, so today, I'm going to talk about how you're mostly not, how the general public, um, you guys, are mostly not to blame for uh, today's pollution and what we have now, ways we've tried to fix it, and what you can do. Um, First, I'm going to talk about why it's a problem. Uh, it's a massive problem because it hurts our planet uh, through climate change and um, other uh, things related to that. And unless we somehow miraculously invent space travel and colonization to a different planet, this is all we have right now, so we should try and save what we have. Um, it doesn't only help us by um, helping to support causes against pollution, it doesn't just help us in the long term. Um, Forbes uh, quoted um, Kari Nezu, which is who is a Stanford Medical School professor and American Lung Association researcher, and he said that ozone and particle pollution con uh, contribute to thousands of hospitalizations, emergency room visits, and deaths every year. And it's because of this that I think we should uh, start talking more about it, rather than just saying that the main uh, reason we should be talking about it is climate change. So that's just the basics of um, why I wanted to talk about it. Now I'm going to talk about an objection to um, my claim. Um, doubters worry that uh, doubters worry that like everyone can contribute to climate change, whether it's just driving your car along the road, um, and they urge that every person try to um, like ride their bike to school or whatever. But it's not really proportional when any one car is uh, produces, like, or any one company produces millions of times more CO2 into the atmosphere than any one car will ever produce in a, in a full year. Um, and I think it, it's kind of, I think it's kind of strange that we're listening to counter arguments like this because it's distracting us from the real problem. And I'm, uh, now that I've talked about the opposition, I'm going to talk about uh, how you can help. Um, what I've noticed is I've, uh, in the past, I've actually written to my lawmaker about this exact uh, problem. Um, and they responded to me. It took a while, uh, it took about a year, but they finally got around to the letter that I had sent to them, and they responded. And so that uh, kind of gave me hope that writing to lawmakers and calling them actually does work. Um, so what I ask is that you write your lawmaker or call them, uh, ask the people who are in power uh, to do what they were elected to do tell them that big companies are to blame and to not um, put restrictions on the general public, but to put them on the big companies. Uh, like, you can also fund um, organizations like the EPA, uh, who in 1995, um, through extensive research, fully removed uh, lead from uh, gasoline, uh, which has saved millions of lives. And it's uh, things like that that uh, why we should um, help fund the EPA. Uh, their research has found that for every one dollar that you put into helping with uh, air pollution, we get about nine dollars back in public health and productivity. 
And now that I've said ways that you can help, I'm just going to give you a visualization. Think about um, a world where the general public is blamed for something that companies do, where thousands of deaths happen every year just in the United States because, because of it, and people have to wear masks because the places are so polluted that they can't breathe properly. This isn't some kind of dystopian future. It's happening right now. There are cities, um, nine of the top and most polluted cities in the world are in India alone. And people in, like in India and China all, all have to wear masks because um, it's so polluted there. Um, and I want companies to take responsibility for what they're doing and try and help fix the problem. And to summarize, I have talked about how you are mainly not to blame for why uh, we have such a big air pollution problem, ways you can fix it, and ways you can help fund organizations that can, that can fix it. And so I ask that, uh, that you join me in helping to save the world from climate change, um, such as from rising sea levels. And if you care for the future, uh, I ask for help. Uh, with my endeavor. Thank you.